Hey, I'll Baruch Halevi be here from Soul Center. Thanks for tuning in today. I want to talk about freedom, what it means to be free, and the responsibility that comes with freedom. Usually I'm speaking out of my office, and today I'm at my home office, actually, Ariella's office. Uh, I feel like I'm giving a presidential speech, um, but it is appropriate, I guess. Um, not that the president has a spiritual tree, female, feminine, divine feminine trees behind him, but I do. And I want to talk about this because I'm home for Memorial Day and I have the day off. Like so many Americans, so many of us who are free, well, in America, we are all free. And we are free because of the men and women of the United States Armed Services who have given the ultimate sacrifice so that I can be at home and you can have your barbecues and they can go swimming and we can all enjoy our freedom. But it's only because of those men and women who came before us and gave that ultimate sacrifice that we can be free. And with our freedom comes responsibility. And that's really what I want to talk about. We don't usually think of freedom and responsibility. Dr. Frankel, my teacher and mentor, Dr. Victor Frankel, talks a lot about this and really frames it as freedom from and freedom to. And usually we think of freedom as freedom from. I'm free from tyranny. I'm free from today having to go to work. I'm free from a negative consequence. And that is a beginning point, but it's not the end point. He writes the following. Freedom is not the last word. Freedom is only part of the story, half the truth, writes Dr. Frankel. Freedom brings with it responsibleness. Freedom, simply put, brings with it a responsibility. And he talked about it regarding the Statue of Liberty. He said, that's right, that's half the equation. The Statue of Liberty, the Statue of Freedom, and yet we're missing the other statue on the West Coast, the Statue of Responsibility. He actually um, set out to build that statue, and I think there's a fund still gathering money and momentum for it. We should get behind that because without the statue of responsibility, freedom is incomplete. Yes, freedom from, but freedom to. And if we are enjoying our freedom in this country, we owe it to those who came before us and gave the ultimate sacrifice to remember at the very least, remember what they sacrificed to remember why they sacrificed so that we might be free, to remember that with that sacrifice and with our freedom comes a responsibility. Now, you may not serve in the armed forces. God bless those who do. I wish I would have. It's one of my deeper regrets in life, but life is complicated. Thank you for your service. But we all can therefore serve in a different way. We can all be responsible for our freedom to give back, to contribute. Or, as Dr. Frankel would say, self-transcendence. However you get there, just get there. To transcend ourselves. Myself as Baruch Halevi. And remember that I'm here to serve my wife, my children, my family, my friends, my community, my country, my people, my tribe, all of you who are part of this tribe. We all have responsibility. And that is the opportunity and the obligation of freedom, freedom from and freedom to, to give back, to serve, to transcend ourselves. So on this day, Memorial Day, but any day, when if we have freedom, then we have both responsibility and responsibility. As Dr. Frankel says, the ability to respond, because until you are able to respond to those around you, to the world around you, to serve in a deeper capacity that's beyond yourself, you will never be free. But once you are free, you are response able. My prayer for all of us is that we continue to live free, fully free, completely free by taking responsibility and able to respond to those around us in their time of need, like the men and women of the United States Armed Forces who gave the ultimate sacrifice their lives so that we might have freedom. God bless them and God bless you if you are continuing to serve in this country and for this country. I thank you. We thank you for our freedom. God bless. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Shalom, salam, namaste. Peace.